The ear is more intricate than even the most powerful and complex computer and is of vital importance to our overall health and well-being. Now the middle ear is the mechanical part of the ear. It contains the three tiny bones, the hammer, anvil and stirrup, and it also contains two muscles. Dr. Tomatis showed that these muscles play a critical role in the functioning of the ear, regulating and controlling the quality of sound that reaches the inner ear. Sound therapy stimulates the middle ear so the muscles have to work. It's a gymnastic program giving a workout to the muscles of the middle ear and thereby correcting fluid imbalances and muscular problems and blockages and all sorts of difficulties that can build up in the middle ear. The innermost part of the ear is the cochlea, a spiral-shaped chamber carved out of solid bone. The cochlea, being the nerve center of the ear, contains the cilia, the little hair-like sensory cells which pick up the sound vibrations and transmit them to the brain. There are about 30,000 of those cilia in each ear. Now, when some of those cilia become damaged, it's usually the upper frequencies that are damaged first. And that's unfortunate because they're the ones we most need to hear. It is generally believed that once the hair cells have been damaged, no improvement is possible. What we believe is that the high frequency sounds that we're getting with sound therapy are stimulating the cilia and bringing them back into activity where perhaps they'd been flattened by too much noise. One of sound therapy's claims to fame is its success with a diverse range of ear-related problems. Even conditions generally considered to be incurable, such as tinnitus, have been alleviated or cured using this scientifically based and proven method.